everybody, I'm Mark, and today on Make Your Mark, we are making fabric flowers using E6000 Fabrifuse. This is such a cool technique. I did not invent it. People have been making fabric flowers like this forever, so we're going to try our hand at it. Now, before I forget, thumbs up if you like this video, and leave me a comment if you have a question about this project, or you just want to say hello. And you know how much I love it when you stop by and say hello. Are you ready? Let's make some fabric flowers. Initially, wire was used in jewelry. Evidence of wire has been found in archaeological sites dating back 5,000 years. Egyptians were creating flower arrangements as early as 2500 BC. They regularly placed cut flowers in vases, and highly stylized arrangements were used during burials, for processions, and simply as table decorations. As early as the 12th century, the Italians began making artificial florals from the cocoons of silkworms, assembling the dyed velvety blooms and selling them. The French began to rival their European neighbors, and by the 14th century, French silk flowers were the top of the craft. I'm going to leave a link in the description to one of my favorite fabric flower making videos from 10 years ago by the amazing Heidi Borchers. I'm going to leave a link to E6000 and everything I used for this project in the description below. Thumbs up if you like this video, leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press that notification bell so that you know I have a new video. Grab any one of my craft books for inspiration. I think you'll like The Big Ass Book of Crafts Volume 2 and I will see you next week. Bye.